We are here today at a $500 million golf facility. This is the PGA of America headquarters. And today we're gonna to play nine holes and see what we can shoot. The golf course is beautiful. I feel like we can shoot two under, but I heard this golf course is super hard. You guys are gonna get a little taste for this place. I'm so excited to play here today. I've seen pictures of it, but I've never really got to play it much. So really excited to come out here. Let's get right into this. Nine holes at a $500 million golf course. All right, we are gonna have caddy Derek today on Hello, the channel. He's gonna be helping me out with all the reads, where to hit it, because you gotta be smart out here, I've heard. Four. 80. Par four? Par four, yes sir. So we've got these bunkers on the left. It's gonna be 315 to get to those. So we're just playing this straight at those bunkers. Straight at there. those bunkers. Yes, sir. 480 par four. 480 par four. Pretty good. It's on the right side there. Yep. Thank you. It's as good as I can hit it, guys. That's a great start to this video, but hopefully you guys can see this facility a little bit today. I mean, it is unbelievable. Every, just looking around here, this whole property, it's giant. The buildings are brand new. Crazy how much this place costs to build. So we're playing the back nine here at the east course. Yep. So back nine of the east course here. This golf course is just really difficult. The yardage for 18 holes is 7,400. We're gonna have a lot of super long par fours today. One long, really long par three as well. Okay. Coming up here, so probably, probably one of our marquee holes on the course. Should be left to right with maybe a touch of help here. Okay. I'm gonna go with a seven iron. Full seven iron here. All right, I like it. Okay. Definitely just on the left there. side. Decent miss. I just kind of tugged it a hair, but we're gonna be just fine. I mean, this green looks intense. I can't imagine like this hole right here, this first hole. Yeah. You're probably caddying for a lot of people, like the average golfer that shoots, you know, 90 or whatever. Yeah. Like, how do they even hit the shot? They have to well, roll it up. Yeah, and you really can't because this hazard comes in on the right. So right. It's, it's almost have to get them to lay up. I can't even imagine short. like <laughs> a normal golfer out here. Downhill, left to right. Is it pretty? It looks like it's into the grain. It looks like it should spin a little bit. Yeah, just a touch. Okay. How we started out there. Boom! <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was I think hit the man. pin dead center. That's a way to start out a golf video. That just looked good, that chip. It just looked good. It was inviting. Grass looked so pure. On to our second hole of this video. Second hole of the day here. Par four. How far is this? 405. 405, okay, so not too long. No, into the wind. So we've got here the right trap. We've got 250 to carry the left trap. We got 270. And there's about 40 yards after that left trap before it runs down into more penalty area down there. This place is like fairyland for golfers. This is literally fairyland for golfers. It's a little low on the face, but it's gonna work. Love it, come on. That's how we do it, see what we can do today. Let's do some damage. What's your craziest story being a caddy out here? Oh, I haven't seen any hole in ones. I've seen it. So I guess that chip in was probably the coolest thing you've ever seen. That chip in was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the coolest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we can agree on that. <laughs> We're playing through here, so we got to play quick. 112 to the pin. Okay, I'm gonna go full 52 right at it. All right. Spin down the hill. Felt really good though. Okay, tricky putt for two birdies to start out, but just trying to take in this place today. This is unbelievable. My gosh, and they have their own putting green, these little ranch houses. Yeah. But I want to make it clear, not many people have actually filmed golf videos out here, so this is special to be able to show you guys this whole facility. Slippery putt here down the hill. Where do you see this, Derek? Decent mount right to left here. Looking probably couple cups out. Couple cups. I'm just gonna let that fall in there. Yeah, yeah, you just let the let the green do all the work here. Oh. 
We are one under after the first two holes today. Not a bad start, almost two, I mean. Gosh, that felt good. Barely broke off. But you guys are probably wondering what the heck I'm doing with this thing. I usually use my arm lock. Guys, we put this tailor-made reserve putter in the bag. It's what I used in college. And my speed control, I like I'm not three putting anymore. Knock on wood. But I've kind of eliminated all the three putts that I've been having with the arm lock for speed. So this just feels so much better. I'm gonna stick with it for a little bit. I don't know if I can give up the arm lock just yet, but I feel like I gotta go back to, I gotta change it up a little bit. I gotta make more putts. Huge announcement, guys. I am so excited to tell you that we are releasing a teaching channel. Now, we've been working on this for a long time, and it's my true passion, teaching. It's coming out very shortly, but here's the thing. If you guys are one of the first 10,000 subscribers to the channel, you will have a chance to win my set of P770 irons. All you gotta do, go to the link in the description, it's gonna be at the top, Grant Horvat teaches. Click on that channel, go subscribe. You're one of the first 10,000. Once again, you will have a chance to win my own set of P770 irons. The left, left side left edge left side of the fairway okay because it will kind of slant down and you get a bad bounce and it might kick you down into the so i keep it down the left side here yep okay par four here how far is this 470 470 par four this is a beast i mean i hit it great is that gonna kick right uh kind of nope we're good <laughs> we are good. That was that was it. I mean, I was like, that was straight, but I didn't know if it was gonna kick right, like it's, you said. It's, it's so hit or miss because it could it could kick right like every other ball. So it's one right. Of, we try to keep people away from that side just just in case. That felt good, guys. We feel really dialed right now. We had a good warm up session, so see so we can shoot today. When you're caddying for people out here, they're not playing 470 yards. No, no, yeah, this is a little. So the, t the tees we're playing is is pretty rare for you. Yeah, yeah, I probably caddy once for people back there and oh god five. hey i'm not trying to do this no, I, just, <laughs> I didn't know what i was i was playing the teams i thought were right no by whole by this next part three they uh they moved up some tees because they they didn't like having three woods and three hybrids in it every every hole so gotcha hey guys i just want to say if you're new to the channel thank you so much for tuning into this video shout out to derek for being on the channel today caddying 160 to the pin pin is 11 on 10 from the right here We've got a little 11. false front here. Okay. Um, and then back right of it, there's another kind of valley that'll take it off. So So we gotta carry this 160. Yep. Yep, carry it 160, touch left of the pin should be perfect for us. I mean pin's over there, but just a pull. Straight pull. Correct distance. I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna get too ahead of myself, but this next hole after this is par three. It's their signature hole out here. I'm looking at it right now. You guys will see it in a second. It looks unbelievable. Oh, set. How did that go right so fast? Maybe I pushed it? Maybe, but I just, I might have pushed it. See, it feels good, like over those short putts, I like the claw, and then I tried to do traditional grip there. I don't know, I feel like I just, I feel like I made a good stroke. It just shot out to the right on me, but I gotta say, on those short putts, I almost feel better with this putter right now than the arm lock. It's crazy to say, because that's what it was the best for, and I just lost it a little bit. So, one under after three holes, really solid ball striking so far. This had to take so long to build, all this being like a $500 million oh, property. Yeah. That's This is like one of the most expensive yeah. golf facilities in the world. It's gotta be up there. I mean, it's so giant, all the land. That look, the bunkers though, behind this green look insane. Yeah, usually not uh, front, of the front of the green here, so. Gotcha. Green's massive, so this usually will play an extra 20, 30 yards longer than what it is right now. So beautiful, the bunkers. Going with a hybrid, play a little draw. That's a fade. Oh, we're good. Pin high right. That is a hard golf hole. That is difficult. Right to left on this chip. Okay, here we go. Straight forward shot. Try and chip it in again. Two chip ins. That'd be cool. Ooh. 
I pulled it. This is actually a good miss when you when you get to a super high level of golf. You actually think about where you're gonna miss it. I still haven't made it there. I haven't graduated to that level because I never think about where I'm leaving my chip. But this is good. It worked out good. Ah, I just didn't keep the speed up there. Mm. But that was the line if you're gonna hit it at least a foot by. We're even through four holes, and once again, guys, this is an extremely difficult golf course. So just to be even through these holes, I'm I'm taking it all day. 230 yard par three. I can't be too mad making a bogey, but would have been nice to make that putt. Fifth hole of the day here. What is this? Par five? Par five, yes, sir. Par five. Time to make a birdie, time to bounce back. But the line here, do you see this tree at the left edge of the bunker with the, yeah, the, the limb hanging there. over? So the, the top part of it, that's okay. what we want to go over. Okay, right over the the whole fairway slopes left to right, so we'd rather be a touch left. Over that tree. Yep. Just a little right. Yes, yeah, so I think that. I think that's pretty good. I mean, that was almost over yeah, the tree, so. Yeah, yeah, that should be right center fairway there. Hair toey, but hopefully we can get there in two shots. That's the goal here. We got to make a birdie, bounce back, get back to one under par. I was, I pulled my driver out here. We have 280. I wanted to go off the deck, but unfortunately, Derek just told me there's a creek in front of the green. You can't go for it. You can. I mean, we can get lucky. Like, so the guy caddy for yesterday hit hit one up there, and he got lucky. It did end up in the creek, and it was it was right up there, just short of the green right over this left trap that we can see. And I mean, I'll hit those this bunkers. usually 280. Okay. But, I mean, we don't need to. I don't know what you would recommend. No, I mean, I honestly don't mind that at all. Okay. You want to just put this pretty much at the water tower, or just right at the water tower. And okay. That's a pretty good line for you Let's there. Let's do it. We're actually going to hit the driver. We're just going to go a little bit left to stay away from the creek. Right at the water tower. Could be okay. Yeah, I think you're over those traps as well, so. It'll be fine. We're over here on the left in the rough, 63 yards to the pin. Got to carry this like 58. I have no green to work with, so it's a tricky shot. Wow. That's crazy. That's difficult. I feel like I really hit that good too. All right, this is where we ended up in here, rolled all the way down to here. Now, I think we have a we have a swing. Tricky up and down. Chop down on it, land just on the green. I'll take that. Woo! Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thank I you. landed my approach shot on the green and it ended up down almost in that creek. That's a par, and I grinded for a par on a par five like that. That is, this course is not easy. These par fives are probably the hardest part about this golf course. Crazy. Like, like I'm grinding out here, I feel like I'm playing great golf and we're even par. The next hole is going up this hill. Look, it's breathtaking, I mean. Short par four here. Wow. Possible, possible driver. Really? You yeah, almost yeah, get there. It, it kind of depends on, on wind. The left, like so the left edge of the green, so the lip where it kind of goes up, the highest yeah. part, that's it, 290. Yeah, to get to the green, yes sir. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's go for it. All right. We're going for it. I'm getting after this one. Drivable par four, 290. It's straight up this hill. Giant bunkers guarding it. Should we just go left of the pin a little bit? So, yeah, so that big, the mound there, left edge. So that's pretty much the left edge of the green and that'll probably be about 285. Okay, So perfect. I'm gonna go for All that. Right. Go. It's in the bunker. I did. It is. Oh, it is? Yeah. I just towed it and kind of <laughs> dove on me. Didn't fully catch it. Now we're going to have a fun, fun bunker shot. It's like so deep down yeah. in that bunker. I feel like I'm not going to be able to see a single thing. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be hit and hope. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that thing is deep. That was, I did not try and hit it off that hill, but did that thing land like all the way up yeah, on it? it went way up and then came back. Really? Thank the Lord for that backstop because I didn't have that there, that was gone, but I nipped that thing. Whew, we got a good birdie look now. That was deep. Actually really good looking putt here down the hill. Yeah. A little left to right. Yep. Oh. 
pretty much just left to right the entire way. Okay. Right through it, right through the brake. That's okay. I mean, with that pin being tucked here, this hole's not easy at all. So, we're even par through six holes. What a beautiful hole that was! Seventh hole here, par four, 500 yards long, but. I just realized how much booty sweat I got, and it's a lot, and it's unfortunate, but it's hot out here. Kind of just noticed it, so in case you guys see it, I've acknowledged it too. Left side, not bad. All right, we're gonna have a long ways into this par four. We have a 500 yard par four, which is just, you don't say that too often. And this course is just, it feels super big out here. And I understand it probably increases the value of the property. And then also on top of that, how big all the buildings are. It's just, they do everything a little bit bigger here in Texas. 230 and I hit that drive 300 yards. It is 30 paces on. So oh my gosh. So we can, yeah, we land this. 200. Yeah, maybe, maybe a touch mark, we might be a touch into the wind, but yeah, like, 205, 210, I think it's perfect here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Just off the right. I think we're just off the right. I mean, what a beast of a hole. That's crazy. We don't see, you see it? Yeah. Oh boy. We're in the stuff. Oh guys, my ball is down there in the thick stuff. I'm just gonna try and get a club on it. Hopefully it comes out right. Yeah, we have to chop straight down on it. Oh, we got it out. Where the heck did that go? Oh. Okay. It we got it out, but man, that was tricky. This was a giant green too. Down the hill, left to right. Yeah, I'm kind of looking just out at this. Almost at the cup. shadow? Yeah, I think that's in line with kind of what I was looking at, so yeah. Might be back in the hazard. This I wasn't too bad. It's big, it's for bogey. Up the hill. Kind of up the hill. And just off that right edge. Just outside edge. Just outside right? Yep. Mm. That is a double bogey on the 500 yard par four. Just bad second shot got me in trouble. Hurts, but now that takes us to two over par on the day. We have a couple holes to go here. Let's see if we can finish strong. Up to this point, we didn't really have any big mistakes until now, but we can bounce back. If we can shoot even, that would be amazing. Little nine here. I love this par three here. It's short, it's only 135 yards. Punch nine iron. Oh, be good. Oh! Oh! That almost went in. Bounce back now. Good shot to bounce back with. Two more holes to go. We almost hit the first hole in one on the channel. This is where my ball landed. Jumped up here and ended right here. So <laughs> that would have been really cool. <sighs> Not much here, Derek. It's a way to bounce back. We're one over on the round now. Final hole, ninth hole after an easy stress-free birdie there. It's Not a bad round of golf. Not a bad round of golf. Ninth hole here, par five. Another chance to shoot even par. Let's birdie this. This tee shot is actually really intimidating. It's a super narrow landing area. You can hit a good shot. Need a good tee shot. Can we get after this in two shots? Yeah, yeah. You hit a, if you had to really go in here, this is gettable. Yeah. Three. Took some huge bounces. One thing I love when I hit a good drive is to see that ball actually rolling. Because a lot of times in Florida, it's super wet and it just plugs. It's kind of cool to see it actually roll out. Wow, so here's the deal. Second shot into this par five. We have 260 to the pin. It's only 230 to carry the hazard. We're going for it. We got our three wood. We're gonna aim way left to the center of the screen. But what a beautiful shot this is. We got the giant clubhouse in the background. We're hitting over this little ravine. See if we can pull it off. Big old cut with my three wood. I'm gonna hit a big old banana. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't cut. Dead straight. And the thick stuff. Yeah, I think it's just sort of trapped. Oh, it just didn't cut. Hit it solid on that down slope, so not mad at all. We just gotta aim pretty far to the left here, right, Derek? You yeah. think? Big yeah, old yeah. breaker. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Seat it out there, let it fall in. I like it. Gotta be good. Turn. That's gotta be good. Well done. Thank you. That one felt good. That came out of there so nice. It was good contact. You have that putt to end with two birdies in a row and shoot even par. Just a touch of left to right here. Okay. Let's go right at it. Yeah. I knew. I just did. <laughs> that was a full 360. I, I, I mishit the putt. I think I hit off the toe. Like, people don't talk about that, but I, I completely mishit that putt. And I felt good over it. We ended with a one over par. Shout out to Derek for helping us out all day. Great caddy. Also, shout out to Fields Ranch for having us out here today. What a special place. Hopefully, you guys got to see a little bit of this course. I know we only did nine holes, but unbelievable experience. Till next time, peace.